Oh, are you kidding me right now, dude? Yo dudes, Stone Ocean episode 19 starts now. And most of the stand users have been eliminated that Poochie sent to assassinate Jolene. I believe there's one left, and I thought it was the guy with the helmet, but it's possible it could be the dude that stole the bone. Again, I would assume it's the one with the helmet, but this series likes to throw us curveballs sometimes. So I am curious to see who the fourth stand user is that Poochie sent, and if they're gonna get their hands on Dio's bone, and if Jolene will ever find out that Poochie is the real enemy. But before we jump into it, I want to announce the official launch for the first piece of merchandise here on the channel. It's JoJo inspired, of course, so what a better time to announce it with the drop of Stone Ocean Part 2. I hope you enjoy the design, and if you do pick one up, thank you so much. So with Without further ado, let's jump into it. Jotaro? That's right, we got to see a little bit of Jotaro last episode at the end. My man looks like he's meditating. <laughs> oh. So he's subconsciously waking up. Oh, look. There's pictures of his daughter and him. His wife or his girlfriend, I guess. I don't know if we saw her in the first 12 episodes. I think we did. Well, he's not moving around. Look, I'm, I mean, he already got skinnier from being in part six, but yeah. Right. Makes sense. If you have no memories, why would you have any reason to live, right? You have nothing to live for. That's definitely the only chance. Oh! Star Platinum is still coming out. It says Jolene. It wrote Jolene in his forearm, bro. Right, but don't they have Star Platinum's disc? I guess it's still a part of him to an extent. It's possible, man. His memories of his daughter are so... You know, they're in the same position, bro. I love this parallel already. That's that Joe Star will, dude. That's that connection these Joe Stars have, bro. They're all connected by fate. Wait, what? Wait, what? They're that connected? How's that possible, bro? A message from her father. That is crazy, dude. Wow. That's nutty, dude. Yup. This isn't Jotaro's first rodeo, dude. Hmm. How convenient. <laughs> that was a little weird, but we'll just talk it up to them being Joe Stars. Birth of the Green. <laughs> what? So you can rescue her? <laughs> this man's scheming. Bruh. Oh my goodness, this man. <laughs> he wants to he wants to hammer it in, huh? Bro, he was smitten from the moment he saw her, huh? That doesn't mean it's not sexual harassment, bro. Oh, you don't want him to disassemble you for not keeping your word. Are they really going through with this? This is, dude, come on, bro. This dude on sweet, bro. Oh. Let's go. He really wants that bone, dude. Probably didn't even know what the fuck that bone is. Oh. Is he a stand user? Oh! Sunbathing? Bruh, what the hell? His spine is extending. He's going towards the sun. And his body's growing like a plant. And there it is, bro. There's leaves in his eyes. Yo, cock you in. Yo, dude. Where's the cherry, dude? He said, he, yeah, see, I think I turned into a plant, bro. Oh, no. His fucking eye just blossomed, dude. What splattered out, pollen? It wasn't blood, right? It might spread, dude. Is that the work of that guy with the helmet? Is that his stand? Oh, that's so gruesome. All the bodies. 
And they were all filled with water before it too. And you know plants need water to grow along with sunlight and nutrients, so... That is... This is... Just this is wild, bro. This, this part stands are out of control. I love it. There's the bone. Oh, it's not his? Wait, the bone's doing it? It is the bone, bro. Jolene's infected. It only got sentience and whatnot after Sports Maxim tried to revive it. Plants growing and it, it, that's like a sign of life. And remember, Joseph's is Hermit Purple, which is like vines, which is also plant-based. Dio took Jonathan's body, right? So that bone is probably Jonathan's. Well, it is Jonathan's. There ain't no probably about it. It's not Dio's bone. It's... Oh, man. That's stupid. That's me so out of control, bro. Just walks up and sniffs her breath. But he's trying to figure something out. Like, he's weird with the way... Like, he's abrupt with the way he does things, but he's smart. There it is. So it doesn't matter if they touch it or their stand touches it. It's still going to affect them. The tree's taking it? It's almost like it's offering it up to them. It's not him, though. <laughs> weed him out. We gotta do some weeding on Jolene. <laughs> That's crazy. If they're actually a part of her, probably not. Right, can she affect, him, affect them? <laughs> Look at this man. My sweet Jolene. I will suck the nectar from your flowers. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. You're becoming a plant, Jolene. How fitting. Diver down. He likes to go in anything that's not water. He's turning into a plant. Oh no, she's gonna grow faster in the sunlight. Of course. So you're gonna just run out into the sunlight, dude. Why don't you use your thread because you already touched it? I guess she's going out into the sunlight instead. And it just disappears. Because it moves on its own, it almost feels like. Oh, are you kidding me right now, dude? Bro, it has a Joestar birthmark because it's Dio's bone, but it's technically Jonathan's too. Yeah. What is it? It's a stand, bro. But it's not just a stand either, because it has the birthmark. So, Poochie's trying to get his hands on whatever the hell this thing is. <laughs> I wonder if the thing goes out in the sun, if it'll grow faster. Yeah. And what's he gonna do? Are we gonna do a jailbreak? I was saying that we have to expand the setting a little bit. <laughs> this man's like, I don't know what the hell's going on, but don't do it to me. I'm gonna use him to escape. Guccio? Like Gucci? Wasn't that name on one of the splash screens? The intermission screens? Okay. The hell did he just do? Just scared the shit out of him or something? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is so damn cool, dude. That Diver, Dan that Diver Down can submerge itself into anything. And then just... He can, like, grab onto it. I don't think Poochie knew this green child was gonna happen either. But maybe he did. Alright, dude. Let's see what your stand ability is. And what's wrong with this guy? Like, what did Ansfree do to this dude? He do something with Diver Down? Oh, that's what he was talking about with the ribs and stuff, dude. Yup, that would be Diver Down, bro. Fucking, that's gnarly, dude. 
Is that how they're gonna off this stand user? Oh, damn! <laughs> My man's calling for his mommy. No! That's why his name was on the intermission screen, because he's the user of Survivor. I mean, his rib, he turned into a human bone trap. So are we not going to see that other guy's stand? Because he was a stand user, wasn't he? Is that the green child? No, it just ate the green child. Is that, yeah, he has the little thing like on his, true, like on his helmet. Man, they're just beating the shit out of this stand. Oh, he's sucking his thumb like if, like. Why does he smell? Go deeper. It likes the punishment, bro. Bodily liquid, bro. Why is he being so nice? DNG? Is that the guy with the helmet? It was him. So wait, this one's sentient as well? <laughs> it walks up and shoots it in its head, dude. Dude, I am like blown away, bro. We're getting a ton of sentient stands. I love it, dude. <laughs> right? Like, what are you talking about, dude? You gonna take the stand with you? That's true. It ate the green child. I forgot about that. I'm just so dumbfounded by everything that's happening, bro. It's like one thing after another, but I mean, that is JoJo for you, right? Master? Yo, what is happening, dude? I don't trust it. I mean, they have no choice. They have to do this, right? But what if he's, like, leading them on p to this on purpose? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Don't trust it. It might be acting nice now, but you never know. What happened? Okay. Ugh. What did it do to Foo Fighter? Dude, it's one thing after another. I mean, that's JoJo's for you, right? But I'm blown away by the level of creativity for the stands in this part. They get crazier and crazier in this part. And we've seen some insane stands in the past, but this is nutty, bro. It le seems like we have two sentient stands back to back. Dragon's Dream and now this one, which we haven't have a had a name for. I guess it hurt Foo Fighter when it was telling them about how to spot a real strawberry. But I wonder how that ended up hurting them, right? This thing is dangerous can't take your eyes off of it apparently i do want to know what its name is and i do want to see just exactly what its power is but i would love to hear your favorite moment from the episode in the comments below remember to smash that like button i greatly appreciate it if you enjoyed this video and you want to see some more like it then check out the two videos right here on your screen and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon for another video